So today we have a 2004 F-150 5.4 Triton. The customer has replaced the transmission apparently with a reman assembly. And uh, a few weeks ago we did this. We got the overdrive cancel light flashing and check engine light on. So we're going to scan and see what kind of codes it has. Auto ID, let's go straight into the transmission and see what kind of codes it's got. Memory codes, continue. Output speed sensor, no signal. Torque converter clutch fault. TCC system electrical fault. And intake runner control stuck. Well, this has nothing to do with the tranny problem. So we're going to have a look at uh, some data related to the speed sensors on this. So I cleared the codes and the uh, torque converter clutch fault and the TC system electrical fault have both returned instantly. Uh, check engine light is off but the overdrive uh, is light is flashing. These are current fault codes so there's an electrical fault with the torque converter clutch circuit. I'm going to look at the uh, vehicle speed sensor and out input output shaft speed sensor signals while we're driving. So if we go for a little road test watching the uh, output shaft speed, uh, turbine shaft speed, engine RPM and vehicle speed and see if they correlate. So no problems with the output shaft speed signal, transmission or turbine speed signal or vehicle speed signal. But the transmission is in a fault mode. Uh, it's an inhibiting overdrive. I suspect because of the active TCC circuits, we're going to look at a schematic for that. So the TCC solenoid is pin number two, and the four solenoids in there uh, share the common pin number one for power supply. So pin one and two on the TCM here, pin one here, pin two here. So this is the TCC solenoid. This is pressure regulator, uh, shift solenoid, and shift solenoid. So ideally we want to check pin 1 and 2 resistance with an ohmmeter. Now, getting at that is not so pleasant. It's up here on the side of the transmission. And look up there with a mirror. We recently had a Dodge tranny with a, an issue and it had a bent pin in there. So I'm not getting caught a second time on this. Looks like they're all straight. So I have to get a pin pin out for this. I don't have a harness for this, so I have to get a pin out and see if I can put an ohmmeter across pins one and two. So as I mentioned, it's pins one and two of the connector 168 at the transmission. There is no pin in number four, so it's kind of easy to identify. We'll go over here and have a look at it. I've got the test leads connected now. It's a little bit of a challenge to get in there, but I managed to get in there. And I've got a resistance of 15 ohms, which is a realistic number. I'll probably get a more accurate reading by changing the range. 14.3. I'll check the spec, but that sounds reasonable. So I'm doing a running self-test, because after I put the connector back on this transmission, the code went to history and cleared. Um, there was a little bit of transmission fluid inside the connector and it's very possible it could have shorted the positive terminal which is pin 1 to pin 2, but not likely. I looked at the terminals on the connector and checked the pin grip and they seem fine. So we'll see what comes back after this uh, running self-test. I know the intake manifold runner control will come back. And I had the AC on when I started and I turned it off, but not in time. And I guess the engine wasn't up to temperature when I ran the self-test. That's interesting, it didn't set the intake manifold runner control. Well, we're going to take it for a road test now and see if the tranny works fine. 
So initially it was working, went about two and a half kilometers, not about two kilometers, and then all of a sudden the TCI transmission light started to blink. Where's the dash lights here? Hmm. Now I see the fault transmission fault is gone and the light has stopped blinking now again. We're going to have to have a closer look at that connector down there. So I was hoping to use the transmission uh, functional test to command the torque converter clutch solenoid on and off, key on engine off of course, and uh, try a wiggle test on it, but I don't see that capability here in the snap-on scan tool. So fire up the Maxisys scan tool, and there's commanded gear, and there's TCC solenoid 2, torque converter clutch solenoid 1, Shift solenoid one, shift solenoid two. I don't know why there's two two cc solenoids. But we'll give it a test and see if this works. So commanding the uh, TCC solenoid on and off with the Maxi Sys scan tool, I could not hear a click from it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've identified the pins in the uh, computer that control the TCC solenoid. This is it right here on connector 175T. So I'm going to put an ohmmeter between that pin on the computer at the PCM and connector 110 pin 2, which is the power supply circuit for that's common to all of the transmission shift solenoids. Both of those connectors are up high in the engine bay. One's on the computer and one's off, right off beside it. I'm going to put an ohmmeter on there, graph the resistance, which I measured earlier at 15 ohms, between basically this circuit here and this pin 36 at the control computer. And while I'm graphing the resistance, I'm going to move the wires and I'm going to see if I can find the, the intermittent break or short or open in the circuit. So connector 175T is the one closest to the engine on the trans or on the PCM and it goes to the transmission harness and I've got a pin in the face of pin 36 on 175T and connector 110 is nice and convenient up here on the uh, firewall and it also tees into that same harness and I'm in pin 2 of that connector on the uh, violet uh, white wire so I'm in this pin here and this pin here and measuring the resistance of the circuit, which we measured down below at 15 ohms, and now it's measuring 14.6, or actually I think it was 14.6. Uh, so now, while I'm graphing this resistance, I'm going to go down there and wiggle the wires and see if we can find a, an intermittent break or open in the circuit. So I'm graphing the resistance of this TCC solenoid as connected up above earlier and I'm underneath the truck now wiggling the connections on the transmission and wiggling the harness and manipulating the connector as we speak or as I speak moving the wiring harness and everything above the tranny and nothing makes a difference so I'm starting to wonder if the problem is a loose terminal or a loose crimp inside the transmission I wonder what happens if I tap on the bottom of the transmission oil pan well, isn't that special? So I got a feeling that the TCC solenoid connection inside the... I'm not familiar with what it actually looks like. But again, wiggling the wires on top of the tranny and wiggling the wires at the connector make no difference. Wiggling the harness on top of the transmission all the way up to the engine, there's no change in the resistance. So I think the problem's internal, unfortunately. <laughs>